How much confidence do you have uh, that Andrew Barry can get done what he needs to get done? Um, I, his first two years, both draft and free agency, made a lot of sense. You looked at what he did and and you saw where he was going. How much confidence do you have um, that he can go out and get the wide receivers and and make sure the quarterback play is there and and fix what he needs to fix on the lines? Those are good questions. If I'm him, Dave, I think what I might be looking for more than anything is a, a couple of key trades. And, and I say that because of this. If, if you draft a rookie wide receiver, is there any guarantee that he comes in and he's really good right away? And I, I don't know that you can do that. You know, Justin Jefferson in Minnesota last year, this year, Jamar Chase in, in Cincinnati, they're incredible. You know, they're really good. And I, I wonder, can you get one of those guys, you know, where you're drafting? Maybe, you know, they, there are a couple of wide receivers who are really highly thought of, and maybe you could get them. And if you're a free agent wide receiver, you've seen this offense. You've seen Odell not work in this offense. As soon as he left, you saw Donovan Peoples-Jones play drop off when he was more of a key target in this offense. And you've not seen Jarvis light it up in this offense. So if you're a free agent, are you really interested in coming here as a wide receiver? If you get paid, yeah, probably. You know, if you get that great big contract, sure, okay. And then you just play football and whatever comes in the offense comes in the offense. But you now have a compensatory third round pick. Why not trade that for a veteran wide receiver who's under contract for a couple of years and, and not to be you know, mean about this, who doesn't have any choice but to come here and play wide receiver in an offense that doesn't, hasn't, at least yet, really made wide receivers look good. So I, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they are looking to do what John Dorsey did with Jarvis Landry, which is make a trade to go get a wide receiver. Yeah, it makes sense because the um, the clock with the rest of the positions is ticking. And the other thing is yep. Baker Mayfield, he's he's in a, you know, got to go do it year. He's not going to – that's going to be the last guy that wants a rookie who has a learning curve to come in as a number one receiver. I mean, it just is. Yep. No matter how Especially talented they, when, it is. With the other guys in the wide receiver room, guaranteed Donovan Peoples-Jones and Anthony Schwartz – and they are going to be what second and third year guys. So you go, you got to go get a veteran somewhere to come in here. If Jarvis doesn't return to this team.